Majo John Nadden in Vega de Alator, Mexico. And uh, I just was in the Coppel store there, uh, fussing with my phone, looking at YouTube videos, and what popped up was an N MSNBC article that I'll put the link here for the state of Florida's attempt to suppress information about black history in that state. And including, this was uh, an on the scene uh, story in the town of Ocoee, Florida, where back in, I guess in the early 1900s, uh, there was a race massacre where something like 300 people, 300 black people were killed in one night either burned in their homes or if they attempted to leave their homes, they were shot in the street. And uh, it snuck up on me. Uh, and they were telling the story about how the way Ron DeSantis claims, no, we mandate that that has to get taught. The way it is mandated that it has to get taught is it has to describe violence towards and by African Americans. And apparently the way the story first got reported by Ku Klux Klan members was that there had been two white men shot and killed by black people, which was not true. They actually had been shot by their own band of uh, vigilantes accidentally. Uh, but DeSantis is saying, yeah, we, we teach it, but it has to be taught that what triggered it was the killing of two white men. <sighs> I'm so sad. I was, I was just sitting there in the uh, Coppell store and I started to cry. Started to cry and had to get out of there. And I may not be able to get back to the tears, but I feel really, really sad that in this country, in this day and age, with all the progress we seemed to have made, around racial justice. George Floyd, did George Floyd die for no reason, you know? Breonna Taylor, that for no reason, it looked like we were getting ahead. It looked like we were getting ahead, like young, young white people, thousands, thousands and thousands of young white people were waking up, taking to the streets. And now they want to set it all back. They want to erase it. They want to erase all of it, all of it. It's mandated in Florida now that you must teach that uh, slavery had some benefits for people who are enslaved. Here are people walking with their dogs. A lot of street dogs, a lot of unhoused dogs, but these two dogs clearly belong to this family. <laughs> and, and the girls playing games, that's so beautiful. So beautiful. That's lovely. Thank you, God, for sending me that image right now. Image of hope. <sighs> that we will carry on, we will persevere, we will overcome. You know, that's what we've been saying for a long time. We will overcome. And this can't be allowed to happen. <laughs>